Well, good evening, my beautifully blessed people, and welcome back. Welcome back. Praise the Lord. I pray that you all are having a wonderful day today, and I pray that all is well with each and every one of you. To my new subscribers, welcome to the platform. Welcome to the family, beautiful people. And also to my current subscribers, welcome, beautiful, blessed people. Thank you so much for sharing the messages and for your responses. And God bless each and every one of you. So there's a message for this evening. That message is, it is reversed. It is reversed. And I just wanted to let you know that this is going to be a very powerful message because so many of you are dealing with things the way things have happened to you and you need to understand that it is reversed all right so things that people have done to you is already being reversed back to them and some of them are getting it back as we speak like right now so I want to just give a quick word. Before we do that, let's have a word of prayer. Dear Lord, thank you once again for this opportunity to speak to your people and to speak into the lives of those who don't know you and the pardon of their sins. I decrease, Lord, as you increase. I pray for the power of the Holy Ghost, my sweet Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Fill this atmosphere with your presence and take residence within me and encircle me. Bless every household that is represented under the sound of my voice, Lord. Bless them, Lord. Bless their coming ins and their going outs. I pray against all manner of evil. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I bind it all and I cancel it all and I send it all back to the pit of hell. It is all burned by fire. God, have your way. Let your message be made manifest in this in this session in jesus mighty name i declare and decree this prayer this day amen all right wonderful people i've made some notes honey because you need to know that these people had no idea by them mishandling you mistreating you and the things that they did to you these people had no idea that they were going to get it back as quickly as they were as quickly as they got it back. And some of these people, it's going to take a minute for them to get it back. I've, I've heard a lot of your messages. I get a lot of your emails. A lot of you are concerned. Miss D, it's been 14 years, so on and so forth. Trust me when I tell you, if God has to let it be to the end of their life before they check out of here, honey, till their final hour, Trust and believe no one escapes mistreating people and mishandling people. And this is what the Lord wants me to let you know. There's a scripture that is very important. And I want you guys to take heed to this message. I'm going to leave the uh, scripture in the description box so that you'll be able to reference it later. This is Galatians chapter 6 verses uh, 7 through 8. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. Listen, you got these people out here thinking they slick. You got these people out here thinking that they have gotten away with what they have done to you. You have people that you have been so kind to and they have treated you so badly. And a lot of you, like I said, are writing to me, Ms. D, it's been this long, this long. Trust me, nobody gets away with mishandling people, especially God's chosen people. And here's what the Lord wants me to share with you. These people thought that they could get away with what they did to you. And little did they know, they had no idea what was waiting for them on the other side. They had no clue. And a lot of people, as the old saying goes, they can dish it out, but they can't take it back. You have a lot of people who are very good at dishing out evil deeds, mistreatment and cruelty and bad behavior towards you. And they can't take it back. So when it happens to them, oh, it's so wrong, right? not even realizing what they have done to you, they have already reversed the same thing they did to you to themselves. And these people were disrespectful to you. And a lot of them who are disrespectful to you, now they're finding out what it feels like to be disrespected. 
There's people who have mistreated you. Now they're finding out what it feels like to be mistreated. There are some who have been cruel to you. They are now finding out what it feels like to be treated in a manner that is so cruel. They lied to you. And a lot of them got lied to in a manner that was far worse than the way that they lied to you. Right. And then they were telling you false truths and they were telling you false narratives. And then because they did that to you, they were met with the element of surprise. They thought that they were slick. Sometimes, honey, you can't out slick the slicker. They thought that they had game, ran game on you, ran tricks on you, lied, telling you false narratives, got you believing stuff until you find out differently. Now, the same thing that they did to you is actually being done to them and they don't like it. Now they understand how you feel. They, derived, they deprived you of a lot of things. And a lot of you, some of you were depending on these people for help and these people deprive you. Now they see what it feels like to be deprived. And some of them have not even began to understand what that's going to feel like when it comes to them, because all of them have not received this reversal of what they've reaped the, what they reaped to you, they have not received what they have sold. So a lot of them have no idea what is coming to them. So, and a lot of them, they mocked you and now they're being mocked. You even have some of them that were told to apologize to you. And some of them, they're so filled with pride and they don't feel that they, you know, they're just too ashamed to even apologize, knowing what they did to you was wrong. And some of them realize they made a terrible mistake by mishandling and mistreating you. And guess what? Now they see how that feels and they can't take it back. Here's the thing to remember when you mistreat people, you mishandle people and you deceive people and people have been kind to you. Once you release that, you can't take that back. And some people say that Ms. D, they can repent. They can repent, but it does not excuse the fact that they will not have to pay for what they have done. Let me give you a perfect example. It's just like driving a car and you get into an automobile accident and you hit somebody's car. All right. It doesn't excuse the fact that you hit the car, whether there's injuries or not, you still going to get a ticket for it because you are at fault. So to the person who was treating people badly, mistreating people, mishandling them, you got to get a ticket for what you did. And that ticket is called the wrath of God, God's judgment. Be ready because it's coming. Let me continue on. And because of what these people have done, they were supposed to do right by you. They have been warned by other people, meaning the Lord has sent other people to them to tell you to do, tell them to do right by you. No matter what, they still won't do it. Some of them are too ashamed and too embarrassed to come knowing that what they've done, you know why they're ashamed and embarrassed to come back to you and do right by you and tell you the truth about what they have done because they don't know how you're going to accept it. Because for a lot of you all, you will sit and you will listen to these apologies and listen to their stories, but you will never let these people back into your lives. And some of them don't deserve to be back into your life. All right. Now, some of them right now, knowing what they have done to you, some of them are shaking. They're literally shaking in their flesh because they know something is coming and they've got to pay for what they have done to you. And they have no idea how God is going to come. They don't know how he's going to come and who he's going to send. He may even send their adversary to make them pay. Or it could be someone that they trust wholeheartedly and this person betrays them, got a trick for them. They thought they had a trick, but the trick got tricked it. All right. And so not tricked it, but the trick got tricked. You can't trick the trickster. These people never get it. They go from place to place. Some of these people run, they keep running no matter what. And they never face the reality of themselves looking at themselves in the mirror, knowing that they are wretched and they are heathens. But God said he's got something for them. And this is the year 2024, where a lot of these people are going to get paid 
back. You owe somebody something, you better make sure that you pay it back. You treating people a bad way and causing people to lose things in their livelihood. God will cause everything in your hands to slip through your hands like sands in an hourglass. You will hold nothing messing with people that God treasures. You will hold nothing messing with God's chosen people. You will hold nothing depriving people of things that you know that you are supposed to. God told you to help them and you got the nerve to be sitting up here playing games, not even realize what you are doing. You are cursing yourself. Now, having said that, these people will not be safe from the wrath of God. These people were told to stop and they didn't stop. And even though others uh, 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 knew what they did, some of the people knew what they did. And even those people wouldn't even tell them or or talk to them and tell them. They let them go ahead on in their face, treating you the way that they treated you. But see, they tried to hide some things. And so everything that they hid, God made it naked. That's why they're getting ready to get dealt with. Some of them are being dealt with now, but some of them are, when it comes, honey, when I tell you it's coming, it's coming like a fireball and they will not be able to handle it. They talk about a tsunami. This is 100 million times, 1 trillion gazillion times harder than a tsunami. Because see, when God's judgment is on somebody, God will not let up. That means that once he decides to put them under judgment, he is the righteous judge and he judges righteously. He judges it for the just as well as the unjust. Can you imagine somebody being so evil towards you and God is judging them, these people have no idea. They can't even fathom what is about to happen to them. Let me go a little bit further. Sometimes God will allow these people to go through life, through an entire life cycle, and get to the end of their life, and they haven't done right, and it's too late. And some of them have been warned, have been sent, have been sent multiple messages of making it right with God first and then making it right with you. And they still ignored it. They still want to do what you, what they feel they should do. Matter of fact, some of these people have been so terrible toward you that they are controlling and manipulating the situation where it's causing you to fall into terrible circumstances. God is not pleased with that. He is going to answer that. But let me read what the Lord gave to me. This is a warning to anyone who thinks they are getting away with touching God's people with their mouth, their hands, their actions, and causing harm to them in any way. That unrest that these people are feeling, that being unable, some of these people can't even sleep. That unrest, being unable to sleep, along with being unrepentant, full of pride, and being puffed up, like they have the power and the control to manipulate those who have been kind to them. Here's a message to those people. Just know that God will not be silent about the things in the lives of those who you have harmed. And on that note, that's all the messages for this evening. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell for the next upcoming message. And thank you so much for your support. I appreciate those of you who are very supportive of this channel, who are sticking and staying and listening to the messages. And on that note, until the next time, we'll see ya and bye for now.